Oh, well, you know what's coming. That's right. According to Star Wars Theory, it seems like a direct result of all of you sharing the videos online, getting these videos trending on YouTube, letting Disney and Star Wars know that this was unacceptable. And equally, I'm going to ask that you remember to like this video and share it just as much to help get the word out because we owe a huge thanks to Lucasfilm. And here's why. I wanna send a very sincere, heartfelt thank you to every single one of you who has literally shaken the internet in the last couple of days because of this whole ordeal and debacle. See what I mean? Star Wars Theory is a good man taking the first bit of his video to thank you, and I should do the same. Thank you all for mobilizing and getting that video out there. I think my video had almost half a million views. His video, probably over a million views, and there were millions of other views out there from other creators and that's because of your legwork sharing it so thank you you guys created such a stir over the internet the last couple of days you basically said no this is not okay this is not gonna happen and it won't stand and well your voices were heard our voices were heard lucasfilm spoke to either disney or the other company and they said you have altered the deal and this is not gonna stand we don't accept this you take that claim down right now. And that's exactly what happened, guys. The claim has been released. The film no longer is running ads. It is now back to the fans entirely. Hell yeah. How can you not watch that and feel like so pumped that everybody's hard work in the, not just the Star Wars community, but in the YouTube community and the community of people that want to see things set right. We rose up together and let our voices be heard, and they were actually heard for once, and we got a happy ending out of this. This film has restored back to its original state, and ultimately, I'm hoping that the precedent here is set that his future episodes can be watched ad-free on YouTube, because I myself shared the Vader episode with probably 20 or 30 of my personal friends specifically yesterday, and I want them to appreciate the work that Star Wars Theory did. And on top of that, look, Lucasfilm probably gets it here that this is about goodwill. The Star Wars community has been divided for some time after Disney took over. And this film was pure. It was wholesome. It was just a flat out good thing for the Star Wars community. And I'm hoping that some rogue employee at Disney or Lucasfilm, uh, you know, was acting as, as, you know, a lone wolf and they did this. I'm hoping because to be totally honest, they got this turned around really fast. I mean, they got this claim reversed in a day and they very easily could have let that sit for months or weeks and drug this on, but instead they did the right thing. And, Look, as somebody who's been critical of Disney, Lucasfilm, to a lesser extent, uh, people like Ryan Roundhead Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy, to a greater extent, uh, you have to appreciate, you have to uh, show appreciation when they listen and do the right thing. Now, they should have done the right thing in the first place, yes, but maybe it was just some rogue employee or something like that. So... He asks in his video to maybe shoot Lucasfilm on their social media, uh, a word of thanks, um, maybe even tweet this video at them. Thank you, Lucasfilm, for doing the right thing. The Star Wars community didn't need any more reason to be divided. I'm sincerely hopeful that this does set some sort of precedent where Star Wars Theory can continue the Vader series because... It's amazing. You don't want to stifle fan creations. I think that Lucasfilm and Disney should be bringing this guy on board and asking him about at least some of the... Th I'm not saying the 16-minute fan film is like the perfect thing ever, 
But there are elements of it that are truly awesome that I would have loved to see Vader do, like stopping Gatling guns, you know, with the, the bullets in midair and then firing them back the other direction. Just Vader being totally B.A. That is what I wanted to see and we still haven't really seen. I mean, Vader's been good, but not like that. And there's a lot to be gained here in Goodwill. So outside of releasing the claim, I'm, I'm hoping that Disney does something for this kid because... He obviously spent a lot of his own money. He hired his own composer. He had done all this work, all this legwork, spent tens of thousands of dollars, knowing he couldn't monetize it, okay? And that's fine. He still did it. And his channel will have benefited, right? All this controversy probably grew his channel, and people will watch his other videos that get monetized. So it's a smart growth tactic for him, and he's obviously passionate about the Star Wars universe, and he put together something truly awesome. So... Congratulations to Star Wars Theory, um, and to a bigger extent, congratulations to the community of you know people who watch YouTube, of the Star Wars community, the people that stood up for this channel and for this fan film and said this is not acceptable. And you know what? Thank you, Lucasfilm, for stepping in, and thank you, Disney, for at least being receptive. You know, Disney could have just as easily dug their feet in, dug their heels into the ground and said, no, guess what? We don't like it. We're not going to, you know, we're going to claim it. We have to do this. I saw a lot of theories out there that said that Disney or uh, UMG had to claim this to set legal precedent. They couldn't make special uh, ex um, uh, special rules for one video. Uh, maybe there's some truth to that, but clearly uh Disney, I mean, 6 million people watch this film, right? Could you imagine how many people you made mad that weren't going to go see your next film? I mean, let's be honest. The Last Jedi didn't put a lot of butts in seats. I mean, it did, but comparatively to other films, it didn't. They've got a lot more Star Wars franchises coming up. You've got 6, 7 million people that watched and enjoyed that film that would have gone to Disney, Star Wars. I saw a lot of people basically saying, no, I'm done with Disney until this is done. You all did this. You know, I just signal boosted. You're the ones that did all the legwork. And people saying, nope, I'm not going to go to Disney anymore. I'm not buying any more Star Wars stuff. This is baloney. And I hope that Star Wars works with Star Wars Theory to make sure Episode 2 is even better. Maybe even give the kid a budget or give him some something to make this happen. It's not taking away from your mainstream films. And like I said... These things coming out once a year or every six months are only going to keep people more hyped and get more butts in your seats. If you turn this around and turn this into a goodwill thing for the Star Wars community, you're going to change a lot of minds and open a lot of hearts to going and giving you a second chance. And, you know, extra 500,000 people in the theater, extra million people in the theater on opening weekend is no small chunk of change at 15 bucks a head. That's $15 million in sales. You know, that's... I don't think you can screw around with that. So happy ending. Congratulations, Star Wars Theory. Congratulations to the entire community that rose up and stood against the evil mouse. And let's just take this win today. Let's just be happy. Remember to leave a like on this video and drop a comment in the comment section down below. And we'll talk to you again really, really soon, probably. I've got a lot of videos ready to go. I've got two more videos already I want to release today. It's been a busy one.